Memphis and Ambersons. Don't forget that special someone. Hello, Mom. Hello, Doug. Give the gift of Mom in the Movies, an all-new book from TCM and Time Magazine's Richard Corliss. There, there, darling. It's the ultimate guide to motherhood in Hollywood and beyond through the decades. Packed with photos and bonus essays from celebrity contributors. I hate to think what your father's going to say when he hears about this. Just in time for Mother's Day, Mom in the Movies, available now at shop.tcm.com. Hey there, everybody. I'm Ben Mankiewicz. For the past few hours, we've seen two disparate portrayals of mothers on screen. And up next, we head in yet another direction as our night focusing on moms in the movies continues. Once again, here to join me, an expert on movie moms. He literally wrote the book on them. The book Mom in the Movies, The Iconic Mothers You Love and a Few You Love to Hate is the newest addition to the TCM Library. The author is Richard Corliss, Time Magazine writer and longtime film critic. Richard, thanks for being here. Enchanté. <laughs> Up next, we bring you a romantic comedy 75 years old from Hollywood's magic year, 1939. It's the story of a single woman played by Ginger Rogers, accidentally forced to care for a child she accidentally rescues. Directed by Garson Kanan with a screenplay by Norman Krasna, it's Bachelor Mother. So, Richard, what makes this different from other surrogate mothers, and there's a big section in the book on surrogate mothers, is that Ginger Rogers here, this is not her goal to take care of children. She's just, she's just passing by. It is thrust upon her, and what she really wants, at least at first, is to, a chance to, to win 50 bucks in the big dance contest. Yes, she is... Uh, she finds this child, and uh, she leaves it at an appropriate institution. And when she does and is tiptoeing away, the authorities uh, see her leave and think that this is not a good deed doer, but a malefactress, possibly a, uh, an abdicated, possibly mother. an illegitimate mother. Yes. If there is such a thing. Uh, one great thing about uh, Bachelor Mother, we get to see a, a very young uh, David Niven. Yes, very charming guy. As always, David Niven playing the the, the wastrel son of the of the uh, pl the plutocrat uh, played by Charles Coburn. Charles Charles Coburn. You could say that that Ginger Rogers is playing a version of the real working woman of the of the late thirties, and that David Niven is the dream on her pillow, and she improves him. Her, she is the she is the working girl who makes uh, a better man of the playboy. Um, and uh, I will. I've mentioned uh, my mother. We're talking about moms in the movies. I'll mention my mother again. There's no question that David Niven was the dream on my mother's pillow. There's no question about that. <laughs> Let's watch the film. It's from 1939, as we mentioned, also with David Niven, Charles Coburn, directed by Garson Kanan. It's Ginger Rogers. She is the bachelor mother. <laughs> 